opening night of the 12 Angry Jurors is happening tomorrow at Cicero North Syracuse High School. The students are thrilled to return to stage for a live performance and with an audience. News Channel 9's Ashley Cafaro joins us now live from CNS High School's auditorium with more on this year's production. Good morning, Ashley. Nicole, good morning. Students really are excited to finally be back on stage and doing what they love, and you can watch them do that tomorrow. With me, I have Carrie, who is the director of this year's play. Carrie, thank you so much for joining me this morning. Thanks for getting up so early. I know you guys had a long night. So, what is the play about for those who don't know? Yes, so the play is about a jury who was requested to deliberate the trial of an inner city teenage boy who allegedly has murdered his father. And as the play unfolds, we learn the unconscious bias of each juror and how it has affected their verdict. And how does it feel for you and students to be back after two years performing on a live stage? Amazing. Um, we have gone without a play for two years now, and to just be back in the auditorium performing, um, it's, it feels like coming home. And for those who are interested in going to opening night, which is tomorrow, or any of the other nights, how do they get tickets? Can they get them at the door? Yes, you can. You can purchase tickets at the door. Um, however, you can also go online at ticks4u.com. It's $12 for students and seniors and $14 for adults. Okay, great. And I see that the students do have clear masks on. You guys have them on. Are there any uh, pro COVID-19 protocols that uh, patrons have to follow if they want to come to the play? Definitely. You have to be max, uh, masked, vaccinated or not, um, masks, and we are social distancing with our seating, so you will be ushered to your seats. Okay, great. Thank you so much, Carrie. And right now they are going to give us a sneak peek, and let's see it, guys. Everyone connected with the case identified this mess. Now, are you trying to tell me that someone who picked it up off the street, went up to the boy's house, and stabbed his father with it just to be abusing? No. I'm saying it's possible that the boy lost the knife and that somebody else stabbed his father with a similar knife. It's possible. Take a look at this knife. It's a very strange knife. I've never seen one like it before in my life. Neither had the storekeeper who sold it to me. Aren't you trying to make us accept a pretty incredible coincidence here? I'm not trying to make anyone accept it. And again, that is some great acting right there. Again, tomorrow is opening night. It starts at 7, and we'll put all this information on localsyr.com. And Nicole, back to you. Ashley, thank you. Kind of hard to level the volume there. They're quiet, then they're yelling. It's getting heated.